guys welcome to let's play guitar today we are checking out how to play change your ticket by one direction i just saw that this channel had 10,000 subscribers and that's just amazing i just started a while ago and i never realized that it would get so big so quickly so thank you for one 10,000 subscribers that number is just amazing and um, hope to keep more lessons coming for you guys and i hope that you will like it so let's get into this one Keep on the third fret and if you want how to play the part over here um, the lead I have a link in the description box below uh, that will show you how to play the lead let's just get into the chords that we are using the first one that we are using is G major D major C add 9 or you can also use the regular C but I prefer playing it this way E minor 7 as well and just E minor and then add these two over here now we're also using these chords over here if you take it one octave up so here we're using G chord looks like a D chord all right and then this is I think the tenth fret and then over here we are using D major the eighth fret and then move two frets down here you have your C chord and that's really it that's all the chords that we're using for this song so let me show you how to play the very beginning of the song which goes like like that and then over here you do okay so what we're doing over here is we're using G we're using D and we're using E minor 7 but when you do it over here um, here we're gonna use G um, D and then C so I guess technically if you want to use C over here you should be using C at 9 over here as well but I, I think it, it, it doesn't sound too bad if you use E minus 7 and here you still C chord if you if you have if you like two guitarists playing and one can play this part one can play this part so anyways now let's take a take a look at how to play the strumming so the strumming here goes like this now we are mainly using these strings these four strings the lower strings because we want rhythm into it and we are going on the lower strings so it's pretty simple we are just doing down up down up okay down up down up so you can do that on the lower strings over here, the first three or four strings. So down, up, down, up. And then you can mute it by just keeping your palm over the strings like that. Okay. Or you can also do it with your left hand by just relaxing your fingers over your left hand. So down, up, down, up. Move to D chord now. Down, up, down, up. Move to E minus 7 or C at 9, whatever you prefer. I'm using E minus 7 for now. So you get down up down up on the G, down up down up on the D, down up down up on the E minor 7. Again, now the next time what, hap what is happening is the next down up down up starts a little late, just a little bit. So we are doing three, four, one. See, so on the first count, we are starting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, G, D, minus seven. So the next time, after the first count, you start playing G. So for the first time, you have down, up, down, up on the G, down, up, down, up on the D, two, three, four, then one, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And down, up, down, up, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, see, two, three, four, one, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four. Now what we're doing is, uh, if you are um, want to do it higher up, um, we are then using these chords over here, the same G, D, and C. Now the strumming will again remain the same. Down up, down up, down up, down up, 
down up down up two three four one down up down up down up down up and one two three four see so the strumming is the same just that the chords now we are moving over here okay and then we actually get now this is actually also being played on the chorus of the song so when the chorus comes these um, chords are being played on the, in the background and the strumming pattern is for the chorus is different that I will show you later but for now let's just get into the verse and how the verse is played and very simple it will go something like this Watching you get dressed messes with my head. take that bag off your shoulder chorus and you say and all that so very easy like I told you I'm moving from G to D to E minor to C chord so let me just get to the right hand so for this verse I'm now using palm muting so palm muting I, I, I show you in every lesson you just uh, keep your palm over here on the strings just where the bridge begins um, and you just play and then you get this sound see so just keep your palm over here and then you do down strokes all down strokes for the verse we are doing four down strokes on each chord just keep repeating it so for the verse it will go like watching you get get the right hand and then again for the rest of the chords the chords are the same come get back in there. we've still got time left this don't have to be over and then you get to the pre-chorus the strumming pattern for the pre-chorus is actually also used in the chorus so this is pretty interesting what we're doing is this and you say how to the chorus you should probably stay you know like that so for the pre-chorus we are using the same chords G major to D major to E minor to C at 9 so we're taking a set of two chords G and D and E minor and C okay so G and D okay so on G down up down up okay down up down up is on the G down up down up and then on D here we have down up down up and then an extra down stroke again that's the only difference so on D chord you have down up down up down so when you combine that that together you get for G and D down up down up down up down up down and then what you do is you move on to the next set of chords, which is E minor 7 and C add 9. And here you again do the same as we did on G and D. Down, up, down, up on E minor 7. And down, up, down, up, down on your C add 9. You combine all that together and you say. pretty easy now let me just move on to the left hand and show you what's happening over there so G down up down up down up down up down down up down up down up down up down 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 up down up down up down up down and down 
and then you get to your chorus part. You should probably stay, probably stay a couple days. Come on, let me change your ticket. So here we are again doing down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, and down up, down up on all the four chords. So for G you will have down up, down up, D, down up, down up, and then mute. Just keep your palm over there. Down up, down up, down, down up, down up. So you should probably stay, probably stay a couple more days. And then come on, let me change your ticket home. And then comes this part. And don't go, it's not the same when you go. It's not good to be all alone. You know that part. And on that part, if you can tell. I'm using the same strumming pattern like we did in the pre-chorus of the song. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The same that we used in the pre-chorus of the song. And down, go, it's not the same when you go. It's not good to be all alone. See? And then you go back to your probably stay, probably stay, boom, and then down, 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 see, that's how the chorus is played, very similar to what we just did in our intro of the song, so that is what we have for this chorus of the song, and then you move to the second, second verse, second pre-chorus, and the second chorus, and then comes the bridge. Why don't we take some time? Now let's see how to play the bridge. We are again using the same chords. G, D, E minor, and C at nine. The only difference is that now we are only just doing one downstroke, a simple downstroke, because the song slows down a bit. Uh, so we're not doing anything fancy over here. So why don't we take some time? See? And then G don't we D is a little E minus C. Again, why don't we make it right? And then again, G D minor and C and nine. You go back to your chorus. You should probably stay, probably stay a couple more days. Come on. Let me change your ticket home, you know. And that is really it for this whole song. So like I said in the beginning, if you want to learn how to play the lead of the song that was being played over here, I'll have a link in the description box below. So that is it from me for today. I will see you guys next time. Take care.